New at noon, a new report has both good and bad news about the safety of bridges in Pennsylvania. While the state is making progress, there is still a lot of work to be done. According to the American Road and Transportation Builders Association, the state is still second in the nation when it comes to the number of structurally deficient bridges. Lisa Washington has the story. This national report concluded that there are more than 54,000 structurally deficient bridges across the country, more than 4,000 structurally deficient bridges in Pennsylvania. And in western Pennsylvania, several bridges are on the list, including the heavily traveled Liberty Bridge. Chances are you travel across a bridge in western Pennsylvania every day. The area is known for its many bridges, some large spans, others quite small. A new report shows Pennsylvania is second in the country for the number of structurally deficient bridges. The public is not in any imminent danger from the bridges on these lists. However, they are bridges that need to be fixed. Bridge rehabilitation and bridge replacement are the biggest concerns when it comes to bridges in Pennsylvania. In Western PA, the Liberty Bridge made the list, as did at least eight bridges over the Pennsylvania Turnpike and some on Interstate 70. The estimated cost for updates is more than $2 billion. There are definitely some challenges in Pennsylvania, although I would point out we've also seen some improvements uh, in the state over the last few years as the state DOT and local governments have been trying to address some of the bridge challenges. The authors of the report said people who use the bridges deemed structurally deficient should take the information from this report and advocate for better infrastructure in their communities. And I think it points to some of the challenges, uh, certainly in terms of funding and having the resources to really make a, a big dent in this issue. Lisa Washington, KDKA TV News.